Hello, welcome back to Ready Controls. Have you ever installed Studio 5000 on a brand new laptop or your laptop died and you installed a new instance of Studio 5000 but only to find that your toolbar looking out of place and affecting your workflow? Stay tuned because today I'm going to show you how to adjust the toolbar size for an optimal display experience. I've recently received a comment recently on my YouTube channel asking how to adjust the size of a toolbar in Studio 5000 because the display was quite weird after they installed a fresh installation. So if you are facing a similar issue, you are not alone. Now we'll talk about how to make the toolbar look how you want it and mostly we'll focus on how to customize it. So if you look at my screen right, right now here, I have a program opened, but I can't see the controller organization or anything, right? So the first thing you want to see is if you run into this issue, we could go into window and reset window layout and say yes, it will restore the default window layout. So all I did was window, reset window layout and resetted the windows to the default, all the toolbars to the default. So a bunch of toolbars. the deal with these toolbars is if you select them once you get this four arrow direction you could move it to wherever you want right you could put it on the top you could put it on the bottom you could make it floating like this or you could just stick it there or you could right click no options here but you could move it to wherever you want so this is how you move it to if you want to see it on the top you put it on the top or if you want to see it on the bottom there right so that's how you can move any of the tools and this tool also this is one tool and now this is the instruction toolbar that one also can be moved like that and this controller organization you could select you could hide it auto hide it so if you do this drop down you could select auto hide right now it's auto hide and now it is docking or floating you could do floating then you could move it to wherever you want right so a lot of customization depending on what your need is how big of a display you have you can adjust to the toolbars to your wish so what i'm going to do now is i'll put everything back to just close it so i will go ahead and hit windows reset layout which, which will reset everything to the factory default where you have a controller or organizer here which displays what you need and you still have these errors and search results you could have a watch this is also a good one you don't want to go to the controller tags for cross-referencing if you want to just watch the tag value while watching the logic you could use the quick watch a really powerful tool for quick watch for diagnostics so now we want to adjust the size of the toolbars. That was uh, how do we adjust the size of the toolbars is I'm going to show you that. So all I did here is just move it up and down and I can move it to the left side. Right. And if I want to make it short or less wider, I could just wait for it to be the two point two direction arrow and then start moving it. So I can adjust the width of that toolbar. What if I don't want all these in my favorite so i want something else in my favorite and i want to adjust the bits as you can see let's open here once i select a rung see that's the other thing is i cannot select any of these commands until i am inside the routine so once i'm inside the routine you could see all these will come up right all the options but what if i don't want this i want something else to be as my favorites we could easily do that by hitting right click customize favorites the other or we could do stretch to application width that will just make it wide you might be familiar with this one so you could do that or you could just reduce it to whatever width you want but customize favorites is where you could go ahead and remove i don't want the branch level to be in my favorites i only want these in my favorites all i did was select what i want to be removed and i removed it and I say, okay, now your favorites is small. Similarly, in add-on, if you want to customize your add-on favorites, let's say these are the available buttons and you could select ladder diagram. But if you have function block, it, it will give you the function block drop down also. So that's how you go customize it, the toolbar size. And the other interesting thing is under tools, options, 
uh, if I go to view and toolbars, I can select what I want to be a 5000 to display. So for some people, you just want the standard all the time where you have a standard file, save, edit, print, search options. For some, they want security. I don't have the security things, but once I have the security package, it will show you all the security thing. And path bar, people like to know what is a path. So you, it can, you could use that path bar. New component window. Some people like new components, how to insert a task or a trend or a proteins. Document languages. So this is important when you're working on international machines. The machine might come from Italy and it has a Italian English and then you want to convert it into English. So we'll make a separate video on that about document languages. Bookmark toolbar. Uh, as we discussed in the previous video, it is very important. So important tool. So if I want to bookmark this wrong, I just bookmark that one and then I bookmark something else in other routine somewhere here i bookmark that rung now if i want to troubleshoot i want to go back and forth i can use the bookmark to go back and forth right so that bookmark and you could delete all remove all bookmarks by pushing that button it will remove all the bookmarks so a lot of customization is available depending on what your need is and you could also create custom tools i don't seems like i don't have the option here creating custom tools ladder logic common is once you select that it will show all this and controller will give you the overview of your controller status which is hey are we in run mode is controller io is okay and am i in remote run or no forces installed no edits and language element or is all the instructions for the language elements so we say close this one good move however you want to so a lot of ways to organize depending on what fits your need uh, please use uh, accordingly and let me show you one thing one, once you and the other uh, lot of tool a uh, lot of ways to customize it but one last thing i wanted to show you is say if you have some people like to have side by side and some wants to have it horizontal so you could have a horizontal window where you do window and you could split window and you could split that window into two that way you could have zero rung there and on the bottom one you could see rung 14 or 15 right so you could split windows and do however you want so again i mean the same one io mapping i mean 20 but i split it in two different windows so i can watch the logic i can watch the zero rung and sometimes you want to watch ninth rung right so depending on what you want to do you could use the split tool also and if you want to close all, you hit close all. And if you want to restore layout to default, you hit Windows layout to default. So that's it, uh, guys. A lot of options for toolbars. Just need uh, practice, practice, uh, and customize it to however you want. And um, that's all I have. If you need more uh, videos on toolbars and language bars, there would be a video popping up on the top right corner of the screen. Click that and watch it. Until then, thank you.